Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Friday 12th, or Friday, September 12th. Uh, here we are on a Friday. I, as I said Friday, but we did work out that Frank was there with us, or he's back with us. Is what it is, I guess. I wonder what it'll be today. Actually, no. Nancy, the floor is yours. Yeah. Oh, Nancy? I've got a pet peeve. Why do people start big coughing when I'm smoking in my store? don't like it, just leave. Thank you much, Nancy. And, well, if you're asking, it's not like people have other places to go besides the smokehouse that you call a general store. On to the weather forecast. It's sunny in the first half of the day and some clouds in the second. Back to the playlist. That's funny. Uh, don't fake cough, right? Don't fake cough when you come into my store and I'm smoking up a chimney. Don't be fake on me. If you don't like it, go somewhere else. Now, could you imagine nowadays someone going into a store and fake coughing? Everybody looks at you like, oh, shit. Stay away from that person. No, 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 no. We don't want any of that. Nope, 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 nope. Under the circumstances that we live in in today's world nowadays, right? You know. Pandemic. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird to say? Like, I never thought we would be in a pandemic. I never thought that. Like, I thought that was just something in the history books. Guess not. Guess it's reality now. <laughs> Here's your mail. Oh. So where did we leave off? So we left off where, where Frank was... Excuse me, hang on. <coughs> we left off where Frank was... He was simply um, kind of... He was, he, was, he was joyed to be back, but at the same time, like... He knew he was he was gonna be back, so it was like a little bit of cockiness going on, and then something to do with like Mildred, you know, with the envelope and something. I, you know, I don't know. I know there's something weird going on with Frank, Mildred, and then the big boss Hoss guy, right? I don't know. But this is uh, Kay's house, I believe, right? If I'm not mistaken. So we're dropping a package off for Kay. Maybe we'll get some cool dialogue with her. Let's see. Let's see. Hopefully somebody's home. We watched her kids for God's sake. Or wait, we're doing that. Or we are already did. I'm not sure. Hello? Friday delivery day. Well, just call me Friday delivery K. Okay, no, that sounded better in my head. Someone's in a good mood today. Yes, thanks for looking after Max and Gracie last night. You were a real trooper for stepping in last minute. Yeah, no problem. They were great. It was an interesting event. Are they okay? Did they mention anything? No, no, no. It was great. No problem. They were great. I appreciate the lie. Oh, okay. <laughs> so... How was Journey? You gotta talk to me about that. How was Journey? How was the concert? <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, Journey is so good. Those songs have been stuck in my head all day. <laughs> and that's a good thing? That sounds great. <laughs> That sounds great. I know, right? There's just so much cool stuff being created right now, you know? I mean, Journey was cool. I got to know them through Barry at first, but I tell they you, know them. if Prince or New Order ever came to Portland, I would sell my spleen for tickets. Dude, Prince, sign me up. I'm into it. Little Red Corvette. Let's go. Still into music? Still into music, huh? Oh, and I haven't even mentioned Cindy Lauper or Run DMC. Cindy Lauper, not bad. And before you go there, Run DMC. I know you're probably setting up a joke about spleens and ham and organs right now. Jokes on you because I don't even know what that means. Jokes on you because I don't even know what that means. You know, music organ, body organ. Never mind. All jokes aside, though, I spent half the concert thinking about how I haven't really focused on my own music for a while now. Kids, work, all that stuff. So much going on. And I mean, I love tinkering, but right now, I'm not sure I'm even creating anything cool or just, you know? Blows Raspberry. to listen to my songs <laughs> at this stage, to be honest. Not even Barry's allowed to listen to your songs. You know, I even creating, like, videos myself, like, I, no one knows. No family, no friends really know. Well, some friends do, but family, they don't know. I don't want them to know. <laughs> not yet, at least. I don't know. I'm not ready for that pressure. I love to hear your music sometime. It's sure, I'm sure it's great. I'd love to hear your music sometime. I'm sure it's great. Thanks for the vote of confidence. 
Maybe I'll hold you to that. I was thinking, I have a mixtape with some of my stuff, you know? Just something I've been trying out with my new synthesizer. Dude, I'd it'd be an honor, yeah. I'd be honored. That's great! It's just something I've been playing around with. Don't expect any fireworks. And hey, don't tell me what you think yet, yeah? You'll be my secret special audience of one. So I can get used to the idea of an audience. You know, that comes really quicker than you think. Uh, any special reason? Uh, would this have anything to do with Sunday evening? No, no, no. Any special reason? Any special reason? Okay, don't tell anyone, but I'm thinking of performing a song on my new synth this Sunday. Holy crap, I just said that out loud. Dude! You are coming to the open mic, right? Uh, yeah, duh. Of course, that's great! Wild horses couldn't drag me away. But act cool, yeah? No one else knows yet. See you there. Sure thing. Back to my own journey for now. Haha. <laughs> Back to my own journey for now. Haha. <laughs> nope. Ignoring that. Bye now. Yeah, yeah. That that was well placed. <laughs> okay. All right. So it seems like Kay, she's very excited. She's very happy. Journey concert. Man. I don't even know if I know anyone that went to a journey concert back in the day. I don't think I do. Or like a run DMC? A prince? Sign me up. Sign me up. Even like, you know how they have like the uh, holographic concerts of like, well, I'm not, I'm not saying like it's a, it's a normal thing, but they do, on some occasions or sometimes they've had like holographic concerts of, of dead artists. And um, it's quite incredible actually. Now I always thought of like having like a, like, like a holographic holographic I say holographic I mean hologram hologram an actual hologram of like Michael Jackson your mail. in the concert now they did back years ago and you can actually find it on YouTube it's a real thing they did a hologram of Tupac I'm a big Tupac fan I like Tupac I listen to his songs a lot even daily still nowadays like Danielle mentioned this like I, I still listen to like 90s R&B, 90s hip hop, you know, I, I, I'm about that. <laughs> I'm about the Lunas. I'm about the the Warren G, Tupac, Ice Cube, um, the Montel Jordans, you know, the Joes, all different kinds of, you know, people. And um, so when they years ago, when they did like a hologram of Tupac, I was like, there's no freaking way. And they did it and it looked really good. It, it looked realistic right and this was like god i want to say like maybe almost 10 years ago almost 10 years ago probably not as like 10 years ago but even though like almost 10 years ago you think fast forward till now like the technology they would have now to be pull off a nice hologram very very realistic looking hologram i think it'd be cool like it was cool like they had tupac he was on his hologram he was up on stage walking back and forth on stage just singing to a song like, I would attend a hologram concert. I, I would. Like I said, Michael Jackson. Hologram concert. Sign me up. Right? I can't be alone there. <laughs> there has to be other people that would, like, want to attend a hologram concert of any artist that might be deceased now, you know? I'm all for it. And would it be weird? You know, I don't think it would be weird. I think if anything, it would be, um, what's a good word? It wouldn't be weird, but it would be, I guess, emotional, right? It'd be very emotional to see that person kind of like in life form, right? Then you start thinking, well, if they can do life form holograms of, of these people, you start to think maybe they could do holograms of even more people, not just artists. You know? How crazy would that be? I don't know, dude. <laughs> I don't know. We're dipping into some crazy stuff right there. Thinking about that. Um, Alright, so here we go. Talk to Robert. Hey, Robert. Hey, Robert. How are you? I was away for a few days. On an urgent job out of state. Uh, it's nice to see you again. Here's the mail. I'm good. It's nice to see you again. Here's the mail. Thanks. And likewise. Hmm. Priority mail from Town Hall. Uh-oh. Let's see what they have to say this time. 
Dear Mr. Harris, on behalf of yada yada yada, concerning Environmental Management Act 1213, yada yada yada, uh, wait, what? <laughs> Listen to this. Sounds like good news. We decided to postpone the construction of apartments for at least six months. That's it. We hope this satisfies you as well as the many residents of Providence Oaks that contacted us with their unfiltered and enthusiastic comments. It worked. The plan worked. Well, I mean, it worked, but for six months. Like, wasn't the, the idea to, like, not have them there in general? Like six months. Wow, great. I'm not gonna sell you short though. Happy for you, Robert. We need to celebrate this. Uh, how about tomorrow night? Steak dinner at Moe's or something else on me. Yeah, let's. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Oh, Wait, tomorrow night? Great. Oh no! It's gonna be fun. See you tomorrow night then. Gotta go now. The telephone troops need to know the assault can be abandoned. Oh no! Wait, weren't we doing something with Kay? Oh Jesus! I'm getting my days all mixed up. Sorry, Robert, but I think I already made plans, and I didn't even—I don't even remember me making. Well, I do remember, but I totally forgot I made plans. So I'm sorry. Oh Jesus, what did we do? Hopefully, we don't make somebody upset. We might make somebody upset. Might disappoint someone. How's that guy doing in there? You think he's still playing games? Probably. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to be heading up to another cabin. Yes, I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. Um, we're gonna, well, you know what? If I'm across the ocean, I'm not driving on the wrong side of the road. I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh Jesus. Have we? Yeah, we've. I think we've delivered to this. Oh God! Don't miss the mailbox, please. Please don't miss the mailbox. Deliver this mail, and then we have one package, one package left, and that package is actually going to, is actually going to Mr. Oh man, I forgot his name, Mr. Mackey. No, it's not Mr. Mackey. No, <laughs> is it? I don't know. Oh, I'm embarrassed. Oh, I'm embarrassed. What is his name? Mr. Mackey. That's freaking South Park, right? I don't watch a lot of South Park. I'm more of a Family Guy person, right? I've never seen um, Rick and Morty. Yeah, I know, right? Shoot me down. Probably the only person on this planet that never seen Rick and Morty in my age group, I would say, in my age group. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, don't know. I, I like Family Guy. It's easy to watch, not too much of thinking, and you can relate a little bit with society in some instances. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and pull on in. This is going to be 400 East Lakeview and Boulevard. I live on a boulevard that has the word lake in it. That's and view. I thought. And 400. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. It is Mackie, dude. Oh, my God. Mr. Mackie's. I don't know. I tend to forget. I tend to forget. I have, like, a lot of games on my mind. A lot of games going on the channel right now, and it's like there's so many names I have to remember, and then let alone remember names in the comment section and stuff like that. It can be tough sometimes. Hello. Whoa, he like ah, creeped up on me. Ah, the waxworms have arrived. Waxworms, isn't that for like fishing? Ew! Have I been walking around with worms? <laughs> you sure have. They're just in time. I'm taking a boat to the island this afternoon. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh, nice. A boat trip. Hey, you can tag along if you want, like your father used to. But I'm not helping you with any wax worms. Dude, yeah. Really? Heck yeah. Oh, really? Sounds like fun. I want to go to the island. Okay, we'll show up here at 4 p.m. sharp. Sounds good. You're my last package of the day. All I need to go do real quick, where's the island at? I guess way, way, way over there. Okay. Yeah, all, the only thing I need to do is really just go drop off my truck. And, uh, yeah. However, taking a boat over to the island kind of reminds me of, like, grown-ups. Right? When they, like, take the coach's ashes to, uh, to the island. And then, like, there's a disaster involving, like, KFC chicken and, like, ashes. And 
somebody dips their hand when they have ashes on their hand and they still eat the chicken like oh god bad 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 one thing i do like about this game is how fast the fast travel is i really respect that all right so let's go ahead and pull on in here at the post oh no let's go ahead and pull into the post office here end our shift and then let's talk and let's i guess head on over to the uh island with mr mackey I wonder if I'm the only male person in this town. Oh, look at that. How cool. So. Is this a quiet day or does it always take this long? Fishing requires patience. We've only been here for two hours. I've never really fished in my life before. Uh, but I have friends that fish. I've always wanted to try it. And that's the nice thing about fishing. Yeah, there's a fine line between boredom and relaxation. <laughs> I find it hard to relax sometimes. I think I forgot how boredom feels. Mm. I find it hard to relax sometimes. Fishing also requires silence. Awkward silence, maybe? Bert, can I ask you a question? His name's Bert? <sighs> oh. These are spicy questions about life. Do you like Maureen? Do you like Maureen? <sighs> we ought to be heading back oh, home. No. It's been a fine day, and I thank you for the company. No. I wanted to know. Does he have a thing for Maureen? Oh, come on. Come on, Bert. Apparently his name's Bert. Hmm. Kay's tape. Let's have a listen. Oh, this is her. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Driving along the highway Headlights light up the signs Thinking of what might have been Radio keeps track of time Hello? It's okay. Hi, Mary. Damn it! Guess what I signed today? Nothing. Nothing. You sign nothing. Uh, let me think. The, 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 the monster deal? Hmm. Let me think. The m, -m, -m monster deal? Oh, yes. Wow. You are now talking to Steve Mitchell, CEO of a multi-million dollar enterprise. But before I continue my insufferable bragging, I have a thing or two to say to you about you. You've been a huge part of the success of this company. And I feel this is just the beginning. We're entering the golden age of personal computers, and we've got front row tickets. The past two That's weeks true. have made me realize that I couldn't have done it without you. And I'm going to need you even more in the coming years. So here's a new monster deal I want you to think about. Oh, God. Become a partner in the company for 20% of the shares and a significant pay raise. Significant. The only condition is that I need your commitment for the next five years. So, there it is. Think about it, and let's talk about it more when you're back in the office. Wow. Okay, so this game kind of just threw a curveball here. Um, so, yeah. This I have a lot a to say about surprise. that. Just let it sink in a bit. I don't need an answer right now. I have to get back to my uh, million-dollar lifestyle. Actually, no, I, I need to get cranking on lots of stuff. Talk soon, Meredith. That's big. That's huge, dude. That's huge. Open agenda here. Um, so tonight we have nothing, but tomorrow we have a dinner date with uh, Robert. No, no, no. No. And, um, yeah, so I guess we watched some TV. 
Previously on Bon Appetit. That burger joint across the street is killing our business. I don't get it, monsieur. Our food is so much more sophisticated and delicious than these disgusting hamburgers. <laughs> don't you agree, Jean-Paul? <clears throat> oh, yes. These hamburgers are fantastic. <laughs> So there's a lot to say about this multi-million dollar deal, and um, I'll have something to say about that very, very shortly. From Angie. Miss Meredith, I am so, so sorry I haven't been able to see you. Oh no. It's just that I've been swamped organizing my not-so-timely exit from Providence Oaks. I'm sure you understand. You've probably seen the foreclosure notice. That certainly helped expedite my decision to leave. Anyway, I'll be honest. I'm still thinking about that kiss we shared in the car. And I don't usually dwell on these kind of things. So, feel special, Meredith. I hear you're going to the open mic night on Sunday. I wasn't planning on going, but I want to see you before I leave. I'm really anxious to find out what you've decided to do. Whether you're going to stay in this town, or go back to the city, or do something else entirely. And I'm going to be forward, as you know I always am. I'd like to know if... Little old me figures into those plans, somehow. So, anyway, I'll see you there, yeah? Love, Angie. Oh, very spicy. Very, very spicy. Big decisions to make. Um, and a lot to say about that multi-million dollar deal. Because we already know what to expect. A pay raise and 20% of the company in, the 19, in 1986. Like, you would be dumb not to say yes. But, some morals and some values heavy uh way a little bit heavier than others so thank you guys so much for stopping by with me and hanging out with me today in this episode of lake hope you guys enjoyed it i will see you in the next video wherever that may be and as always do take care this is for all of you not just a song to listen to something to give you hope to hang on to i'll your pocket full of sunlight.